Hi, Ron. It's your friend Trina here from Green Buick GMC in Davenport, Iowa with the 15 Corvette. As I promised, it's a beautiful day. I'm going to get this video off to you so you know exactly what I see on the car. It does have a very fine layer of dust on, but I can really see quite a bit. And I don't think you're going to be disappointed with the condition. I'm looking at the front end. Some of this is just, you know what I mean, from the water splashing a little bit on it. All I can see is just a little bit of looseness on that lower, uh, kind of that, that dam, if you will. Which I know isn't going to necessarily affect your ceramic coating that you're planning on doing. does have a scratch right here. I think that's probably showing up pretty good. I can feel it a little bit with my nail. I'm not trying to make it worse, but just uh, kind of as a guide of, of how deep that might be. But I do feel a little resistance with my nail. Otherwise, we're nice. Actually, a, kind of a small bubble in the paint, if you will. Kind of the size of a, a pinhead right there. Otherwise, she's looking pretty nice up here on the front. That's lint. Boy, I got a beautiful day to get this video to you because it, it really, I can see well with the sun. Yeah, you're looking pretty good here. Otherwise, everything else looks good on that front end. I'm going to take a step back and scan out here for you. Yep. Okay. I wanted to get a real nice look at that chocolate brownstone interior for you. We've got some good lighting. Very deep, as I told you on the phone. It, it is the color of milk chocolate. It's a non-smoker interior. Leather has some grain effect to it, like all GM leather does. Otherwise, you don't have cracks, but you get that, that, uh, that grain effect there from the entry and exit of the car. Body panels are straight. Here's our back bumper area. Yep, that's dust right there. I just wanted to make sure. Surface scratch here, more in the clear coat. Before I uh, go on the passenger side here, let's take a look. It is not the see-through headliner. I mean the see-through top. You'll see right there. And you can see there is very, very, very hard to see wave right here. And I don't know if I can pick it up. It's not even really a door ding, I'll be frank with you. It's a small ripple. Very, very, very hard to see. I can see it because it's shadowed, but it is not a door ding. A very, very slight crease, for lack of a better term, in the center of that door. With my experience, I'm going to vote that's been there since it was brand new. If I didn't have this shadow here, I wouldn't even be able to see it. Um, otherwise, everything looks good. A little bit of wax settled uh, with that plastic protector that's on from the factory for... Uh, you know, gravel, rock, chips, but nothing major. This is all I can fault it for, Ron, is right there. That. I think you can kind of see it. We got some good light. All right. Hope that helps you, Ron. It's a stunning vehicle, and actually a stunning color combination with that interior.
I'd get in there, but it's so damn hard to get out with my bad knees. <coughs> Hope that helps you, sir. I look forward to earn your business. This is Trina Hazlett at Green Bear GMC in Davenport, Iowa. 563-441-3490. Thanks, Ron. Look forward to earn your business. Bye-bye.